Hello, uh, so we come to our next concept in statistics, uh, which is a cumulative frequency. Okay, it's going to be a way of uh, re visually representing a group frequency table uh, onto some kind of graph. Now, we also often get uh, quite a few questions in, um, in an IB paper on these, and we can see here that yes, A, B, and C uh, have uh, a few sort of introductory questions. Um, so, uh, part A is to find the total number of people surveyed, okay, in this problem of uh, finding how, how long each person takes to drink their coffee in a cafe. Okay, so we just add up all of these frequencies and we get 60. Okay, B is to find the mid-interval value of the group from 10 to 15, or we might call it the midpoint. Uh, so just halfway between 10 and 15, 12.5. Okay, and that's usually a clue of what to come, what's to come. Um, and C, we can see, is finding an estimate for the mean. So, yes, we do need all of the midpoints, and we will need that uh, total frequency of 60 as well. Okay, so I filled in those midpoints, and we know that finding the estimate for the mean requires us to multiply those midpoints by each frequency. So, I'll start those multiplications now. Uh, 12 times 12.5, 150, 14 times 17.5, uh, 245, okay, and so on. Um, so I'll just continue these, and uh, once we have all of those, we can add them up, okay, and that will be an estimate for the total, uh, the total of all the minutes. Uh, from all the people in this experiment, and we'll get 100, 1,075. Okay, we'll have the total divided by total frequency, so 1,075 divided by 60 will give us an estimate of 17.9. And we can see that that, if we look back to the table, uh, is this um, uh, understandable estimate? Uh, would this answer make sense? Uh, yes, okay, it looks from the data that it should be skewed slightly t more towards 30 than 0. Okay, so 17.9 seems pretty sensible. Okay, then uh, we are asked to fill in the cumulative frequency table. Now, cumulative frequency um, is asking for a running total of the frequencies. Okay, so how many people below 10 uh, in that second column there? Uh, that will be a total of um, the people from 0 to 5 and the people from 5 to 10. Okay, um, so we can do 3 plus 5 and indeed we have 8. Um, then uh, once how many people uh, uh, had a time below uh, 15 minutes? Uh, for that one we could just do 3 plus 5 plus 12, okay, adding up the three first groups. Or we could do uh, our previous cumulative frequency, 8, plus the third group, 12. Either way, we'd get 20. Now, A, we could do a similar way. We could add up the first four groups. Um, or we could do uh, the previous cumulative frequency of 20 and add it to the fourth group, 14. Okay, either way, we get 34. Okay, and for finding B, we could do either of those two methods, add up all six, or do 50 plus the sixth one, 10. Uh, or we actually already know it because it's the same as part A, okay, the total number, okay, because the final cumulative frequency will be the total number. Okay, next we have, um, we want to draw a cumulative frequency graph. And uh, now this is actually provided in this IB question, but we're going to draw it instead. Um, so we're going to use the, the upper boundary, okay, the upper value of each interval, okay, because that's because of the nature of cumulative frequency. We want to it to show that there are ten people, there are eight people, uh, who took all the way up to ten minutes, uh, potentially. Okay, so we go all the way up to the upper boundary when plotting it. Um, so I've plotted our six points here. Um, now we're going to have a, a smooth curve that links all of these points. Uh, quite hard to do with free hand, as you can see here. Uh, but I'll do my best. Okay. Now, once we have this, um, we're going to be able to uh, have an estimate of pretty much all of the cumulative frequencies. Um, because 
well, in our table we had six values for cumulative frequency, uh, but now we have a continuous curve um, that will give us a uh, sort of platform to estimate any cumulative frequency. So we can see the first question here, it wants us to say the time taken for the first 40 people to drink their coffee. So I find 40 on the, the cumulative frequency axis, the y-axis. Okay, and our curve should tell us a decent estimate for how long those 40 people took. Okay, so I can trace a line across from 40. Um, okay, and go all the way across the line and then go down to the time axis, x-axis. And I should get something like 22 minutes. Okay, so that point on the graph is telling you that 40 people um, took 22 minutes or under. Okay, so the answer to this question would be 22 minutes roughly. Okay, and you usually get a, a bit of a margin of error here because it's not really an accurate science. Um, okay, then how many people took less than eight minutes? Well, we go the opposite direction. We trace a line up from eight and we go across to uh, six people. Um, then it says number of people who took more than 23 minutes. Well, we know how to find the number of people that took less than 23 minutes, okay, by tracing up from 23 and going across to, um, I'd say that's about 43. Um, but that would be the number of people who took less than 23 minutes. So I would actually want to do 60 minus 43. Uh, and my actual answer there would be 17, although I haven't written that. Uh, so 17 people would take more than 23 minutes. 43 people would take less than 23 minutes. Um, okay, there's a couple more things we could do with cumulative frequency graphs. Okay, with this pink line here, I'm showing you how you would find the median. Okay, because the in an ordered list of 60, the 30th person would be the median. So if I trace across from 30, uh, that would be telling me that uh, an estimate for the 30th person would be around 17 and a half minutes. And finally, um, I could even try and do the interquartile range. Okay, so three quarters of the way through the data uh, would be the 45th person. So I have trace across and down. I would get around 23, 23.5 uh, minutes. Okay, and that would be my Q3 value. Uh, and I could trace across from a quarter of the way through 60, so the 15th person. And I trace down to 13. Uh, so that would be my Q1 value. Okay, so find the integral to our range, I'll do 23.5 minus 13, I get 10.5. Okay, uh, just a, a few of the things we can do with these cumulative frequency graphs.